Hi everyone, welcome to the Electron Age. Today we have another unboxing, as you can see in front of me. We have this beautiful high MD audio device player, player in the recorder. It's the uh, Walkman MZ NH1. This is one of the uh, highest, highest of the highest end models. It was released late. I guess 2004 or 2005 let's just get a good look around the box and the other side it's identical to the other and lastly the back side It just has some more uh, information, system requirements for uh, linking it to uh, a Windows PC or to a Mac or whatever. And uh, they're just the same instructions in three different languages. So, let's get with, with the unboxing, shall we? So, as you can see, the box is not in the best of shape, but uh, like I said, like I usually say, it's good at least to have a box, but uh, it's just, uh, you, you always need to be careful uh, opening and closing it, uh, especially, uh, you know, uh, the weak points, which are the weak points that are always, you know, uh, that you always bend. So. I will try to get this as carefully as possible. Let's put this back to the side. So, here we have the instructions. And it's a lot of instructions, a lot of paper is in here. So, let's just go over this all of this docu documentation first just to check what it's all about <coughs> first of all we have about the headphones just the same note in different languages more of the same let's just see what it says avoid playing the unit at so loud so loud a volume that extended play might affect your hearing avoid listening to the unit in situations where where hearing must be important must not be impaired rather for example while driving or cycling it goes without saying as the supplied headphones headphones are of uh, of open air design sound sounds go through uh, go out through the headphones remember not to disturb those close to you always a good idea you know don't be uh, don't be a, nu a nuisance to people around you next we have the sony european guarantee information document so just some stuff about about guarantee which is useless to us anymore it is useless to us now so basically just you know the usual legal stuff next we have the same document in five copies which is just you know different languages we have the english one right in front of us which says what you can do with you with the high md walkman high md is a new mini disc format that represents an evol evolutionary advance from the, st the standard md format put a lot of audio data on your own one disc the one gigabyte one gigabyte high md uh, disc allows you to record to record up to 45 hours it is also possible to record on a 60, 74 or 80 minute standard disc without, without about uh, twice, with about twice the recording density or on a standard MD Walkman. You can record a lot of audio data on one disc, making it easy to take along with you. Uh, what they are actually talking about here is uh, one of the uh, high MD mini disc tricks uh, that you can do. Because when you actually take uh, a normal mini disc, which is one of these, for example, an 18-minute TDK 18-minute one, uh, 
you can uh, i i'm not sure exactly uh, i don't remember exactly the the right the exact number about uh, the megabytes how many megabytes this one holds i think it's about uh, something like 350 megabytes uh, something less or more something like that but if you take one of these uh, normal mini discs and you put it in a high md uh, player and uh, format it using the high md uh, format you actually get more uh, storage on uh, a normal uh, mini disc the only ad disadvantage being that you cannot uh, use it uh, back on a uh, normal mini disc player uh, unless you format it again to recap you can take a, uh, a mini disc like this format it format it with an high md uh, player uh, once it's formatted you can use uh, let's just say you can use the uh, data storage capacity to a maximum uh, but you cannot use it on a normal mini disk anymore un unless you format it again so just some info about that for you enjoy high quality recordings and playback PCM and 8-Track 3 Plus t technologies allow you to enjoy high quality sound in, in recording and playback. So linear PCM, uh, all of the high MD uh, uh, players and recorders, are, or at least uh, recorders, uh, can record in linear PCM, which is, a, which is a digital recording system that delivers the same sound quality as CDs, but without compression. So uh, supposedly linear PC PCM is even better than CD. Audio compression technology that provide uh, the 8-Track 3 Plus. The 8-Track 3 Plus audio compression technology uh, that provides both high quality sound and high compression. On a, start, on a standard MD Walkman recording in playback using 8-Track and 8-Track 3 Plus. So these are just basic instructions and uh, this is about linking the, uh, your uh, net MD Walkman to uh, your high MD Walkman to uh, a PC by directional data transfers between computer and high MD Walkman. Using the supplied Sonic, Sonic Stage software, uh, not only can you transfer audio data from the computer to the high, to the high MD Walkman, at high speed, but you can also transfer data in the recorded uh, data rec audio data recorded di directly on the high MD Walkman to the computer, and then manage the data uh, on the computer. So, uh, on a standard MD Walkman, true uh, on a standard MD Walkman, true Net MD Walkman function transfer data audio data from computer to the MD Walkman in play record not only data but also text and images uh, this is one of the uh, you know one of uh, one of many disk and uh, especially high md's uh, best functions that personally i have missed on because when the uh, high md uh, you know was just out in the on the market and uh, let's say it was 2003 2004 maybe it continued selling and i think until uh, 2008 something like that uh, it was uh, you know you could be able to use it as shown here just as a uh, external uh, storage media for your PC if you remember back in the day uh, even in the you know at the beginning of this new millennia uh, storage uh, flash storage especially was very very expensive uh, uh, most uh, desktop computers I remember uh, had only something like 60 or 80 uh, giga gigabit, gigabit uh, drives, hard drives, and uh, I didn't have like a portable hard drive at all until I guess uh, you know way after 2010. Uh, so uh, all way all I had, for example, that I I remember using for uh, you know tr data transfer. Uh, was a uh, mp3 player which uh, you know back in the day mp3 players were uh, 265 uh, 56 uh, or 65 uh, no 56 megabytes or 5 512 megabytes or uh, you know even the the more, more expensive ones ones uh, were like uh, one gigabytes 
and of course the uh, USB sticks were uh, were uh, you know as equally uh, expensive back in the day this was one of mini discs best functions in my opinion especially the NetMD ones which you could of course you which had the USB port that you could plug into the PC uh, all of this because uh, especially back in the day we where I didn't have internet at home so whenever I wanted to you know to uh, download something or uh, look up something on the internet I we had to use uh, I used to go to a cyber uh, what do you call it uh, internet coffee internet cafe uh, which had you know uh, desktops and uh, and internet of course which is the most important but anyway I digress uh, and uh, just some of the uh, some of some more instructions on how to use the high end mini disks and the, the standard uh, mini disks so this is basically just what I was saying earlier uh, <coughs> you can have a high MD mini disk and you can use the disk of course only as a high MD uh, in high MD mode on any player which is high MD uh, but when is uh, when the uh, when uh, it comes to the other uh, normal standard mini disks which are usually 60 74 or 80 minutes you can either use it as is uh, the disk contains materials recorded in high MD mode if it was already recorded in high MD mode you can use it as is on a normal any uh, normal uh, high MD player or recorder uh, but if it's a blank disk you you do need to select like I said the disk mode in the menu uh, and this only applies to high MD players because once you, you because you wouldn't have uh, you know the option to to have high MD uh, mode on a on a normal mini disc player. So when the disc is in high MD mode, you can use it normally with any high MD player. When it's not, you select the MD mode, and uh, the same applies. The disc contains materials recorded in MD mode. Uh, MD mode. A uh, disc recorded in MD mode can also be used on, a, on an MD player or a, on an MD uh, Walkman that does not support the high MD mode, but the high MD functions cannot be used, of course. So, that's about it when uh, these little documents are concerned, as far as those documents are concerned. These are another five examples of a... Uh, what is this? This is just about installing the software uh, supplied, which is Sonic Stage. Uh, sadly, I do not have the CD uh, inclu included with this uh, with this player. But yeah, that's just you know inst uh, basic instructions on how to to install this on a uh, Windows 98 or uh, Windows XP by the looks of it. And that's it. Next, we have. Four examples of the uh, instructions manual, which we have one in English, one in I do not know which language that is. I think it's German, uh, maybe another German language, something like that. And this is uh, Italian, I think. So between these two, I don't know uh, which one is the, G the German and which one is the uh, Dutch. So, like I was saying, this was uh, this came out in 2004. So just go very quick about around the instructions. We have the uh, table of content, something about uh, the recycling and product reg registra registration and all that, all that good stuff. And then we come to the good stuff showing you how to use your MD player, showing you how to you know perform perform all of the uh, functions and tasks that you can that you, you would want to do whether it is playing or recording or uh, or uh, entering titles or uh, you know modifying tracks all that all that good shit that's about it when the uh, as far as the documentation is concerned I think I spent a lot of time on documentation, fuck. 
and finally we come to the recorder itself so here we have the player itself this is one of the prettiest players that that Sony made in my opinion uh, not the prettiest this is not like my my ultimate favorite but this is like the uh, one of the smallest and the prettiest of course being a high MD audio uh, mini disc player so let's just go take a quick look around around the device uh, it is basically in g very good condition the only thing it has is what you can see uh, right over here around the uh, the LCD cutout for the screen uh, it seems like you know just paint that has uh, uh, you know has been uh, peeled off or something like that you when you scratch it like this with your hand you don't like uh, take off anything or, or anything like that we also have the same some more of the same problem over here around these uh, little uh, ridges which uh, are around the uh, mini disc door uh, we have the record pause and stop cancel button uh, on this side we have the time mark we have the charging indicator and group button and the menu button this works as a bi-directional or uh, uh, omnidirectional in any case it is volume up and down we have fast forward in the fast rewind or uh, skip track and back track and the last thing the last thing we have on this side is the battery compartment which takes one of sony's uh, lithium ion batteries which is one of the uh, most expensive batteries you can buy for a mini disc these go for a lot uh, these days uh, luckily they still work at least uh, i had two devices which ra which ran on these ba these kinds of batteries and they both charge up uh, they both run uh, but i would i could not tell you how for how long because i did not uh, test for how long it holds uh, it holds a charge Basically, it's very slim. It's I think like two millimeter, three millimeter battery. It's more like a two millimeter, two and a half millimeters. In any case, let's put it back. Is it like this? Yes. Uh, lastly, but not least, we have this the back side, which also also has uh, you know, which is uh, basic. Uh, this side is very clean actually it doesn't have any of that any of that uh, paint or uh, stuff peel peeling off uh, this side yeah it's very clean we all only have the uh, some logos the mini disc logo vpt acoustic engine and the net md logo G, Pro G protection hd digital amp mdlp a track and you know, all that good stuff and lastly but not least the hold button uh, yes, on on this side we have uh, lightning mic power uh, plug mic plug-in power, which is uh, you could use of course a uh, powered mic, and the headphones and line out output output. On this side we also have the uh, cutout for the USB connector, which uh, this is not like a cable that you insert, but uh, actually i think you can insert the cable here also but uh, preferably you can just put it on the stand so that's the mini disc mini disc player the high md player i should say basically in good shape it still runs i will test it just in a second uh, next we have the charger or the power adapter which is in very bad shape as you can see the uh, plastic just, bas just basically disintegrated turned to dust uh, this isn't like uh, user caused damage because as you can see you, the, the plastic is still, is still breaking off you know and uh, but it still works that's the important thing 
so uh, I will just someday I will change this cable I will probably make a video about it to, to show you how if you have uh, uh, adapters with similar similar problem uh, this is the 6 volt adapter which has the uh, center positive so that's that next we have one important you know uh, component of this uh, mini disc player which is the USB uh, USB cable uh, this one also has turned to dust in the in the box sadly but it still works also uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna repair this one if I will just cut here and replace the USB head uh, with another one or uh, if I'm uh, maybe you know uh, put some hot glue on it or something like that and just keep it like that but you know as, as I said it works there's the uh, original stickers that are still you know attached in Japanese and in, in, in English while pressing the button push the plug inward and then and then release it so just instructions for, for that putting in and out the USB this is the uh, optical uh, cable which is used for basically for recording and or transferring music from between mini discs this I think was never used I don't think that the, this tape was ever was ever peeled uh, like off so let's just leave it in, leave, leave it in uh, here we had the uh, we ha I had a uh, high MD uh, mini disc which I have right here let's just put it to the side I will be testing it with it and lastly but not least one of the other uh, important uh, really important uh, components of this uh, high MD uh, player which is the uh, stand basically if you do not have the have the stand you will not be able able to charge the uh, mini disc itself so as you can see this mini disc player is one of the uh, rarest mini discs as in uh, as uh, i say i say rarest because it doesn't it doesn't have a uh, power uh, plugging like a uh, you know 3 mini disc or uh, 3 volts or 6 volts whatever it is it doesn't have a plug-in power uh, and uh, it, it also doesn't have a external battery pack so uh, you can only use this mini disc player as as long as the battery is uh, charged up if the battery runs out basically you need to put it on the stand and then you can you can keep using it uh, while the battery is charging of course if it's dead this works just like that it just you know pushes in, in it pushes into place to uh, release it you just push this button take it off and that's it the stand is quite a pretty one one of the beautiful uh, stands that sony made in my opinion so here we have the uh, the power uh, plug-in for the six volts so this is how you charge the the mini disc like this uh, sadly uh, you know because as you saw uh, of course the, the power plugs in here but the only connector uh, the, the only interface with the mini disc is this you know uh, plug-in right here and uh, it is quite a shame that you cannot uh, charge the mini disc just by plugging in the uh, the USB power uh, the USB cable because you can I thought I couldn't but basically you can plug in this you can plug this uh, USB player like this uh, but this only works if you uh, connect it to a computer and it does not charge the battery which is a shame the instructions earlier about or uh, written on the sticker were to uh, push these two buttons push a little bit inward before releasing it so that's it and of course you can have this uh, usb power uh, usb cable uh, 
No, I actually thought that it had uh, a pass through for the USB cable, uh, but no, I was mistaken. Yeah, this is the uh, BCA MZNH1 because it only works with this model. Uh, but I really thought that it had, uh, you know, a pass through for uh, the USB. Uh, you know, just uh, you could so you can put it like this on your desk have it connected and uh, you know never have to uh, to plug in the, the usb power exactly uh, into the mini disk i thought it was uh, working like that but sadly it isn't and it's quite a shame because there are no uh, no mini no high md nor uh, mini disk players in production anymore so so let's just give this a quick test just to to see if it's if it's working if the battery is charged up <coughs> And that's also the uh, play and uh, yeah play and enter button when you push it uh, inward so that's it uh, basically everything works uh, we can even like go to the menus here we have edit useful record setting options and edit again let's go to options we have the menu mode. I touched volume. Uh, we have AVLS, beep, disk memory, which is what I, I said earlier about using this as a as a uh, external med external external uh, storage media, which is on at the moment, which is good. I will just put push cancel so I could go back next quick mode so you can set this on or off uh, depending on uh, whether you want your your music to be uh, quickly playing uh, per se because uh, if you have this mode off uh, it is better for the battery uh, you know for battery economy but if you have it on it will consume a little bit of battery you know to keep it in standby basically so that's the quick mode disk mem disk mode which is basically high md or md which uh, this is what i said earlier if you have it set on high md <coughs> and uh, format the disk with it you basically to format it, t turn that mini disk that standard mini disk into a high md uh, albeit with uh, you know with a smaller smaller capacity it's not the full one gigabytes of course because that uh, you know those are their own uh, media you know so disk mode and menu mode again which is either advanced or simple i will leave it on advanced and options edit which is just to to do some to edit tracks in and all that this is audio out which is either line out or uh, headphones and that's all that is in useful and here we have headphones or line out so as you saw basically everything works the last thing which I, I forgot to put in the box earlier because basically I have already unboxed this this mini disc, mini disc player like I bought it like uh, more than a year ago uh, I took it out just recently just to clean it up you know to use it a little bit and I forgot to include this back in the box so this is the uh, remote control that comes with this mini disc which is one of which is one of the best ones in my opinion it has this uh, which I will show you this uh, beautiful blue light uh, you know a beautiful big LCD screen uh, the uh, also the advantage about this mini disc which is why, why I like it a lot is uh, you know uh, aside for aside from being very small very compact and being a high md mini disc uh, it had 
this L e LCD screen, which will never, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, uh, stop working, you know, as uh, some models like the RH1 or uh, the RH10, which are beautiful players. Don't uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, it's just uh, that it's a shame that they stop the screen stop work working after a while. Uh, so let's connect this and let me just put in an another disk I don't I'm not sure what I have on this uh, high MD mini disk let's put in this one try to have a lesson shall we Let's do that again because you missed something. There's this beautiful animation of the Sony Walkman logo. And then I, I will press, press play. Actually, this is the uh, menu or something. Normal play, no. Ah, this is play, okay. Let's give it some volume. Because this is the jog, jog dial type of uh, button. I thought it wasn't working, but everything is good. I'm not sure that you can pick up on the uh, <coughs> on the blue uh, hue of the light because uh, you know. I have a, a filming light which is quite, uh, you know, luminous. But as you can see, this is one of the biggest one of the biggest screens on a uh, remote control uh, for an MD Walkman that I've seen. It gives you quite a lot of information. Gives you the title, the uh, you know, the battery percentage. Shows you this uh, rotating disc the time or uh, you can change this, this to whatever you want to uh, time remaining or the uh, you know any of the other information that's uh, for example let's go to the menu here and here we have edit useful record settings options uh, it's basically the same options back uh, on the uh, mini disk itself uh, plus some other ones like this one for the uh, lighting or the backlighting which has auto on or off to access the menu basically you push this this uh, rot rotating jack dial and uh, hold and that's it we have record settings useful which which had uh, it even has a search speed control okay so these are uh, search by track or by group these are options I haven't seen before. All right, and the speed control I haven't, I have never seen on a mini disc. This is basically slowing the music by fifty percent, for example, or speeding it up a hundred percent. I'm just discovering this uh, setting right right now because I, I didn't know it existed. <laughs> At least I wouldn't even I wouldn't I wouldn't even like uh, think of when I will be you know needing it or using it. So in any case, that <coughs> that was the review of this beautiful uh, high MD Walkman. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this had thankfully it had a cutout for the uh, remote control so you can have the remote control attached and still have it sitting on the uh, on its uh, on its stand and basically that's it hope you enjoyed 
if you did please leave a like uh, if you are into this kind of content please uh, subscribe there will be more and until next time this was the electron age bye